Hello everybody, so for today's video I thought, I literally hadn't even planned to do this video, but I thought I would do like a revise with me day, like kind of what I do in a typical revision day, because my mock exams are coming up very soon, they're in fact next week, and I have like loads of mock exams next week, so I'm literally revising every single day, and I'm just going to show you basically how I pack a day full of revision. Now obviously some people will do more or less revision than me, dependent on who you are, but this is just what I do, so I thought you might be interested. Also, I know a lot of my subscribers have come from my revision videos and I know that a lot of people request them. So if you do have any revision kind of, oh, I'm not in focus. If you do have any revision like request videos, then just leave them down below because I might do some, well, I will, I will be doing revision videos after my mock exams ready for the real ones just to kind of talk about some different things. Um, so yeah, leave your request down below. But if not, let's get into the video. Right, hello. So the first thing that I like to do in the day, in the morning, it is actually a little bit later on right now than I wanted it to be. Obviously, like, you want to get on as early as possible, but, you know, I know kind of how much time I have in my day, so you kind of have to fit it around your day, but today I'm literally not doing anything. Um, so the first thing that I do is I get my whiteboard and I literally plan every single little thing that I am going to be doing. So I will kind of slightly talk you through this um as i go along um i'll just show you like what's on the whiteboard but yeah it's always good to have a whiteboard and a pen i have a million pens so i might treat you guys to a new pen so you're very lucky okay so i like to specify like time limits and everything like that so today is actually a little bit late. I can't believe it's actually got this late, but today I am actually starting at 12. I would recommend though starting a little bit earlier than that if I'm honest, but I've got some time in the evening. So basically I'm going to start off at 12 with doing some chemistry revision. And what I mean by that is I basically go through my cue cards. I've actually made little packs of cue cards here, as you can see. Um, and I actually go through them. I've made quite a few. Um, I just read through my cue cards, talk it out to myself, write anything down that I need to. And that's basically what I do there. I will do a video on how I made my cue cards probably after my mock exams. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I do. I revise for that for 20 minutes. I don't like to kind of keep it, you know, too far. So at 12.25... And yes, I do know that that is not 20 minutes after 12. That's 25 minutes after 12. I give myself five minutes leeway, just in case you thought I couldn't add 20 onto 12 o'clock. Anyway, then I'm going to do biology revision, and that is literally exactly the same as the chemistry. I just go through my cue cards. Next thing I'm going to have is probably my lunch. So what I do with that is I write that in a different colour just to specify that that's not work kind of revision time. That's just almost like a break. So lunch I am going to have at about 12.50, let's say. So that's lunch. And then after lunch, I'm going to get straight back in there with the revision and I'm going to do a maths paper. So, so at 1.30 approximately or let's say 145 let's say 145 at 145 i'm going to go through a maths paper i did so i'm going to go through my core three maths paper that i did yesterday i've marked it and everything but i just need to kind of go through the questions that i've got wrong and i'll spend about 20 minutes doing that once i've done that i once i've done that it will be about 210 I am then going to do some more of a biology paper I'm doing. So I don't actually do a whole biology paper in one go, um, just because I don't like to, you know, do too much in one go. And also I haven't revised like quite a lot in the book. So for example, in here, this is just a paper, say the first couple of pages I haven't actually revised, so I won't be able to do that yet. Um, but anything that I have revised, I will fill in and just see how well I'm doing based on what I've revised, um, which I would recommend doing. So that's at 2.10 and I'll literally do that for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to do the exact same for chemistry um, and just fill in some more of a chemistry paper and then obviously mark it and see how I'm getting on. I'll let you know kind of scores and stuff of what I've been doing and how I've been doing um, later on. Um, so that's at 2.35 and then I'm going to grab my blue pen again because I'm going to be having a break 
and this is my break here and oh you can't see it very well but anyway and then my break is gonna be at approximately let's just say approximately three o'clock so that is pretty much everything up until three after three o'clock i am just going to write it down here kind of the things i'm going to do after three o'clock just at any time i'm actually going to be making my cue cards for biology and chemistry just because i want to just because i like doing that that's something that i can do in the evening whilst i'm watching tv anything like that and i also want to do a core three paper as well um maths paper just because so just kind of fit that in whenever so that's pretty much it sometimes i do go into a little bit more detail than this um and sometimes i have about 10 different things rather than um just eight hang on one two three four five six seven rather than just seven things but yeah this is kind of what i like to do so i've planned it out with the times so i know when to fit things in i thought so i thought i would just show you kind of how i've been doing with the chemistry papers so i did this one here atoms bonds and groups and i got 42 out of 60 which is 70 percent and i just said that's approximately a b like i don't know 100 percent. it could be a c but you know i'm just approximating here and then the next one i did i got 43 out of 60 and that was 72 percent um so again a little bit of progress but for chemistry i'm definitely aiming aiming for a slit a, a slee for a c slash b okay so that's chemistry biology i haven't done one maths i've done two the first one in maths that I did was this one here and I got 60 out of 75 which was um, 80% so I'm very happy with that and then I did do another one but that's downstairs um, but I think I got like I don't know 50 something out of 75. So now I'm just going to spend some time going through my cue cards just talking them through um, for chemistry and then straight after I'm going to do biology which is over here. Um, but I won't necessarily show you me actually revising because, you know, I'll just show you what I've done. Okay, I just had my lunch, so excuse my hair and face like I'm just basically me. Um, I'm now going to go through my maths paper. Um, I'm going to spend 20 minutes going through it. The reason why I do revision in like 20 minute bursts is because that's just literally how long I concentrate for after 20 minutes. I just don't and if I think that I've got a half an hour or 40 minutes of revision to do all in one go of kind of sit down speaking out revision I just can't be bothered to do it like I can happily sit in front of the TV and make cue cuts um, for like three hours but that's because I'm sat in front of the TV but with this I can only do 20 minutes so I'm going to do that now just go through the questions that I got wrong and try and figure out why I got them wrong through the mark scheme um, Hopefully I'll be able to do that now. Oh yes, and in terms of if am I on time schedule, no I'm not, I'm behind my schedule, but that's fine because I, you know, it's just a rough schedule, do you know what I mean? Like as long as I know what order things go in. The reason why I'm behind my schedule is because I had a little nap, <laughs> simple as that. These are my maths papers and I'm just going to go through the questions I got wrong. Quite a lot of them I did actually get right but there was like a few like whole questions where I got like the whole thing wrong um, or something like that which usually happens. And look here, you differentiated instead of integrated. That is literally my life like oh my god. I, I, I forget the difference between if integration and differentiation. I just automatically do one of them. Stupid. Okay, so I've just been looking at the mark scheme and I've been going through it on my whiteboard. Um, and there's still a few questions I'm unsure on, but I've asked some friends for help, so hopefully they can get back to me later. But yeah, this is the time that I got up to about 16 minutes, so I'm going to stop that now. Um, and I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far, so I can show you like me rubbing it off. So I've done these two here. I've obviously had lunch and I've just gone through my core three paper. So now I'm definitely not sticking to these time limits, but that's fine. So now I'm going to do some biology paper and then I'm going to do some chemistry paper and then I'm going to have a little break. Um, I think I actually might have time to do a core three paper for chem for chemistry, a core three paper for math. Um, I think I might have time to do that. So um, today, so I might do that as well. Yeah. Um, hi, guys. 
I just wanted to put the camera on just to share this little thought with you because I'm sure you've been through the same situation. I spent 15 minutes looking at this same question like why the hell didn't I get the answer? I even asked a friend, they told me what to do and I was like okay. I tried to do it, I wouldn't, it couldn't let me do it, like I, I wasn't able to do it for some reason. It took me 15 minutes to think how the hell am I going to answer this when it's a hence question which means I need to have referred to the previous question and then I would have known. It's just stupid really but that's my life, the phone's ringing. Just answered some biology questions. These were about the heart and I got 10 out of 10, luckily. I, I didn't even think I got them right. Um, and yeah, got 10 out of 10 um, on this, but on the other questions I haven't done quite so well. Um, but I've still got some stuff to answer based on plants, but I still yet to revise that. Um, but yeah, I've marked kind of what I've got so far. Um, and now I'm gonna do chemistry. For chemistry, I'm going to do this paper, um, but I haven't actually revised any of this yet. Um, so I'm basically going to do the bits that I've revised. Um, I've revised this so I can do this, and I've revised all this so I can do that. Yep, and all of this I can do. Yep, and I can do these, but then here... Oh no, I can do this. By the way, when I say I can do it, I don't mean I can answer the question and get full marks. I mean, um, I, I've revised that topic. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. It's currently 10 to four and I'm basically gonna go downstairs and I'm basically gonna go downstairs and um, answer these questions, just kind of chilling out really, because I like to do that. I like to answer the questions whilst I'm watching TV or something just because it keeps me occupied and it doesn't distract me necessarily. Um, it's just a nice thing to do so I'm going to do that now. Got some mints. So yeah, all is well so far. Not sure if I'm going to get a core three paper done for maths um, but it's not the end of the world if I don't because I didn't actually schedule that in in the first place um, or I might start one tonight, we'll see. Okay, it's now the next day and I forgot to let you know basically what I was doing yesterday, um, like in the evening, but basically I didn't have time to do any of the chemistry paper and I actually um, did some cue cards. So yeah, I did some cue cards for biology and chemistry, um, not as many as I wanted to, but I did do quite a few. So that was good. Um, and I just sat in front of the TV making those cue cards, but like I said, I will do a separate video on those if you want me to, so I won't really show you that. But this was like a little, so I've got a minute in my mouth. But anyway, this was like a little revise with me video, and if you want to see like more in the future, then let me know, because obviously every day will be different. I'll do more revisions some days and less some other days, that kind of thing. So give the video up, uh, give the video up, give the video thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and let me know of any revision videos down below. Goodbye!